Hey friends, it's Julie Norman, and today we're going to do what sold on eBay in August. This is my second month really kind of going for it on eBay, being consistent, listing my stuff. Um, I've got eight followers, 351. Oh, that's there's on here, and so let's just get into it. Now the first one that sold August 1st was Greetings from New Paltz, New York. And I often make little thumbnail squares like that. Um, and this is what the actual photo looked like. This was a linen postcard, not photo, whatever. 447, that is, you'll see that price a lot. This is Diamond Lake. Basically looks like an island, Diamond Island, sorry, Lake Champlain. A white border postcard for 447. The next, this one, I thought was really cool. Uh, this is a real photo postcard of Camp Karamar, K-A-R-A-M-A-R -A -A with a K. Um, and it was the 14th year of the camp, and this was a faculty photo. Um, you can see there is a pretty rough shape here, but there wasn't really anything out there at this time on eBay listed. So I put it up at about $20 or something, and somebody said, I'll take it for $17.50, and they did. So this was Brooklyn and Manhattan Bridge, just a regular chrome, um, do you call it aerial or bird's eye view? I, I've heard both and whatever, but 447 and I do free shipping on most of my postcards. San Gabriel Mission, there's somebody purchased two of these from me, this one and the next one. By the way, I sold 69 items this month and four of them were not postcards and 65 were, just in case you're curious. There is the mission. This is an old lithograph postcard, 447. There's probably a few of those out there. Here's another one, also a 447, that facade again. I've listed a few Minnesota postcards. This is the Hall Rust Mine in the Arrowhead country. This was something, I grew up in Minnesota, so I've always heard about this. This is always a thing of the past. Um, so it's kind of neat to see this postcard and somebody scribbled out the address there. 547, got an extra dollar there because it's, mines can be desirable. This was a real photo postcard of a girl with her dolls and it's, she's got a nice collection. I mean for this time they must have been able to afford some nice stuff. Right here this bear, that's a stife bear I believe and it has all the look of it. Who knows maybe this Georgina was her mom or this could have been Georgina too. 1747. Th I liked this card as well. It is a, a Red Oak, Iowa. This might have been like the county, shape of the county, but it's just these different residences of the houses. It's just really cool. A um, little snapshot, snapshot in a time. And it is an undivided back, so it was a really early postcard. 2447. And this is when I realized that when your postcard sells for more than $20, it costs you $4 in postage. So, yeah. Southwest Virginia State Hospital. Hospitals, they say, are desirable too. And this one sold. Um, really light writing. It probably showed up better in person. Um, Marion, Virginia. 547. This was, here's our first one. That's not a postcard. It look, may look like one. It's a photograph of a train. Yep. 847. And shipping, I did the mistake of doing shipping at 73 cents. That is the uh, standard envelope price, which does not apply to photos. So I ended up having to pay more money for the shipping, whatever. So this is that second Motive for Vols quilt kit. I am sold one last month. This is the first one in the series. I t had a few offers and I finally sold it for 45. Plus shipping. No, no free shipping. Huh. That's right. That was a mistake, but I still made a bit of money because I paid a dollar for it. This three forty seven. I don't know if if I priced it that way, if I took a an offer, but whatever. Then they had the cor the nice convertible in front, and very mid century. So that's what I put up here. Um, red classic convertible car. A bathhouse, bathing beach, hungry mother lake, Marion, Virginia, nineteen forty postcard. That is. A mouthful. And there's Man Lower Right oh, taking in the scenery. Posted. Upside down stamp. Does that did that mean I love you back then? 447. 
Here is another hungry m mother. It, it doesn't sound right. <laughs> And that was also posted. I think this one went to the same person, Bathing Beach. I like that little, you know, setting of the boy and the dog. That one was also 447. Now we have Seaberry House that is looking, uh, overlooking the lake. Green Witch, Connecticut Art View postcard. Art View was the publisher. Um, all it is is just looks like arbor or pergolas, and you know it doesn't look exciting. But somebody knew what this was, and there's my upside down picture. 447. Here is a Christmas one. Mark the Herald Angels sing, and it has you know just a scene of the mother and child. I, it's probably a boy, maybe it's a girl. Who knows? posted and I always I try to put the name of the people here because I'm hoping someday maybe somebody is searching for their relative and their family tree and they, they find a postcard. I don't know if that happens much but I, I try to put the names. Here is a Memorial Continental Hall Daughters of the American Revolution in DC. There are so many cards for DC places but this was older so I put it up. So for my standard price of $4.47, here is Minnesota again, and this is Lake Calhoun. If you can believe it, I lived in Minnesota for quite a few decades, and I never swam in Lake Calhoun. I've walked around it or by it. I made a comment that whoever colorized this postcard really liked the color red. Yep. 1921 is when that was posted. Now I have the a field gun, you know, which I kind of just call a cannon, whatever, maybe it's wrong. Um, just a picture of something that's in a museum, West Point 447. And then before I reset this, um, this was Duluth. And if you have been with me a while, you know that at one point I would have liked to live in Duluth. So some of these, these buildings were familiar and I even went and tried to figure out wh what bu these buildings were. Did I have a close up? And this is Undivided Back, a really early card. Did I find Superior Street, Hor just Horse Wagons Baseball? Was there, was there baseball? Where did I see baseball? Oh, here. See the word baseball there. Yeah, I don't know why it's there. So $10. And I shall be right back with more. Yeah. Post the tabs here because if I do too much at once, then this will crash. And then you have to restart the computer and yeah. Okay. Terrace of Dollar Mountain Cabin, Sun Valley, Idaho, ski lift. And there you go. There's skiers posted in California. So they must have been traveling. 447. Then Sea Island Yacht Club in St. Simons Island, Georgia. Here I put aerial and bird's eye view on it. Just a simple postcard. Not posted. So you could, I you know, if technically you could use it again. Use it again. Use it one, you know. You still use it today. That's what I mean. 747. Sounds like an airplane. This is a different one. This is, I think you might have seen this one in the ephemera box. Uh, this is the... A senator who is inviting somebody to a luncheon, meet the candidate for coffee. It's dated, so it's handwritten, so it's kind of neat. Um, this sold quickly for six fifty. I did take an offer because I thought, how many people are going to be wanting this one? I thought, okay, if you're going to offer me, I will sell it to you. But I could be wrong. Maybe there'd be a lot of people that want that one. Um, Space Needle Restaurant Seattle. I thought that was kind of cool because look at how mid-century modern this is. Just with that orange tablecloth and the dress and everything. 547. And here is a um, Indian girl, Oilette. This is a Tux postcard. Tuck is a big name in postcard. So here it says Raphael Tuck and Sons Oilette. So these can be collectible and some of them are more collectible than others. On 1909 on the date um, thought it was kind of a cool card. Sold that for $9. Storm-clad peaks of Lake McDonald Glacier Park. Now we're in my state. It's just blue. I mean, it's it's kind of a boring card, I thought, but somebody liked it. It is different than what's out there, too, though. Miss Hazel Young, 547. Here is Pendant, oh, I don't know how to pronounce that, Rapids Flathead. You can tell I'm not a native Montanan by because I can't pronounce it. This technically isn't posted, but it's written on. 
Uh, my dear, is it Jimmy, Timmy, I don't know. Uh, cursive sometimes is hard to read. And this is what it actually looked like in Kalispell. And that went for $4.47. Uh, by the way, the reason why I am doing so many postcards is the fact that I have um, several autoimmune things that are preventing me from getting a real job, like, you know, quotations. So this is my experiment. Anyways, um, this is another real photo postcard at Kinson's Livestock Market in Nebraska. And I liked the content of this. This is my zoom in image. It's again, a, sometimes this is slow. Oh, here we go. Here is what the whole one looked like. So you have like the stockyards and the people with the trucks coming and going with their critters. Postmarked in South Dakota, $12. SeaWorld, Mission Bay, and $4.47. Then we have another, we go back to Yellowstone in the Gallatin Gateway Arch and we have an old antique car there. That might be a Ford Coupe. What do you guys think? My dad, uh, had a restored and Model A Ford pickup. I spent many a summer day at a Model A club. 9.47 on that one. Spanish Peaks Mirror Lake in Gallatin National Forest. Primitive area. There's a lot of primitive areas in Montana. So there's camping, there's people camping with their horses. That was for 5.47. So I add things like horse trail ride because I think on the inside it said it was a horse trail ride. Let me just double check. Uh, no, I didn't. But I mean, what else are you going to do? Your horses trail ride, and there's a tent there too. So, anyways, five forty-seven on that one. Here is another Gallatin. Gallatin is county, by the way. East Gallatin and Mount Baldy, and it's also a river. Bozeman, Montana, Bridger Mountains. Um, so I, I like to add things if I can to, if I have room for the description. Oh. I forgot to turn this one, but it still went, still sold quickly for nine forty-seven. Hotel Utah, Salt Lake City, R Rocky Mountain Bank Note Company postcard. So this is a linen. You can kind of see that crosses cross hatching, and it, bank note because why did I say that? Okay, because that was the publisher there. So this is an advertising postcard for their hotel. Four forty-seven. People do like hotels. Uh, another real photo postcard. Look at this little smiling baby. Isn't that cute? And the tinselly tree and all the toys. And is there a cupid doll in there? I don't know. And there's a little dolly book. And there's so much to see in this postcard. And it's just such a, a snapshot in time. No name or anything though. So it's kind of sad that it's lost to the family forever. 1547. Oh, I should show you this picture too. This was the, at what the whole photo looked like. I do like to zoom in or crop it. All right, now we have a, a different national park in Arizona, Grand Canyon. And this is a Fred Harvey postcard. So Fred Harvey is known for trying to be more historical, a little more description back then. A lot of linen type postcards. Uh, 447. Lake Texoma, boating and fishing paradise. And I put sailboats on water. Just in case people wanted a picture of sailboats, they can keyword search. 547. And this guy, greetings from Lincolnville, Pennsylvania, a horse team, farmer's haying. Look at how rough this was. This was soft on the top and you can see it was folded and you know, you've got this killer cancellation and, but these greetings from, um, sometimes there's not very many things from those small towns to Mrs. Dan Webster on August 10th, 1922 for the month of 447. That's what I sold it for. Greenwich, Connecticut, Byram Park, and then the Sunbathers and Pyramid. I put, I added that in because some people like to s post cards of sunbathers and I mean, not everyone has a pyramid, so that's kind of cool can still mail that out today to somebody. 447. This is different. Postcard and consider the postage stamp. So it had these four, these were actual po stamps on there with different cancellations. And this was, it's old, undivided back to Mr. Reverend McDonald. And I didn't see any other ones on eBay. So I just put like, you know, 1947 on it. Sometimes I'm afraid to ask for more. I don't know why, but I, I'm still learning how to price.
And Mechanics Lean is kind of a humorous postcard. Flora. This is Flora and this is Steve, I think. That's what it actually looks like. Satisfied Mechanics Lean. Whatever the humor is. Miss Flora Provost, Provost of Pleasant Grove, Utah. Or no, is it Utah or Idaho? I don't know. Seven dollars. Western Pacific, GP40, it's just a picture of a train, it's a chrome, but there are people who collect trains. Western Pacific, 447, there's another Western Pacific, I mean, do you, you know, 2004, not the year, but the engine, uh, another 447. Here is an, one of those things that is not a postcard. Um, one of the four items. Um, you think you saw me get this at in a state sale in a previous video uh, for the Model A Ford. And it is just basically a book of advertisements for parts and things. For somebody that was interesting and I got purchased it for a dollar and they purchased it for $19.97 plus shipping. The Kaler Hotel in Rochester, Minnesota. Um, then I made sure to note that there's antique cards um, near Mayo Clinic because, you know, some people like to see those antique cards. Antique cards? Antique cars. 447. A real photo postcard of Chicago residents. It doesn't say whose. Um, so mansion, I added the keywords antique car and it's Huckins might be on the back. So, I mean, maybe somebody knows what it is or that collect that town. Here is made by P.L. Huckins. It was, could have been the photographer or the you know, company. Have you ever seen this place before? $8.47. The Beatles. If you know what I mean. An interesting postcard. There, weren't, there wasn't another one on there like this one. So $4.47. Okay, do you remember that I sold one of these last time? This was at Jap those Japanese postcards from the Silkert Museum also made with um, fingernails. Finger, like they hone their nails so they can paint. It's kind of weird, but both of those that I had have sold now. 547. Hanson's Beach, Lake Boone, Maynard, Massachusetts. To Miss Barbara Fuller in Lexington. And 947. Be um, Hotel North Augusta, Maine. This was, this is kind of interesting the way they did this. And then they left a room here. This is where you would write your message because you couldn't write on the back. That's where you put your address. 1904. And 747. Salt Island Bar, Gloucester, Gloucester, or Gloucester. Which way do we pronounce it in the U.S.? Massachusetts. And then children waiting, sailor suits and dresses. I honed in on the children because it seemed like the most interesting thing. I mean, look at those little dresses and the boys with the rolled up shorts. It's just adorable. Master Milton McDonald. And here is what it all, you know, sorry, this guy got cut off of that. But, and look at on the lower left, um, there's even part of it missing. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's a cool card. And there wasn't anything else like it. So dad's loved the best boy in town. 647. And here is M. Raboin Opera, performing artist in France. So I had a, f a few of these of actresses and artists and stuff. It's in another language, isn't it? Yeah. Mademoiselle Marie. So beautiful writing, isn't it? 450 for that one. Arcadia Scenic Turnout, Michigan, Lake Michigan. And I made sure to tell there's antique cars, might just be classic cars. You have the two guys up there looking over the view. And here's the whole postcard. It has issues. I mean, it's got the spot here. I th This is part of my scan. I had to clean it after that. 350. And now we have, we're back into the what I call the American West postcards, a real photo postcard of a cowboy lassoing. We have the dog taking chase. Dogs, there's the back. And this is what the whole card looked like. I had cut out the sagebrush. Not a big loss. 947. I don't know if I could, I probably could ask more for these, but there seems to be the going rate if you don't want to wait forever. Here's another real photo postcard on a cowboy and a bucking horse. Now, when I say AZO, up and down arrows, I'll show you that when I I'll do this here. So isn't that great action shot and it's not blurry? 
here is a z o up and down arrows and there is a guide somewhere online you can look them up on how old they are based on the stamp box of the real photo postcards photo and this guy got cropped out but you know he's a supporting role anyway 1447 for the bucking horse. A train, Western Pacific. I sold one of this, this one last time too, didn't I? But he was, it was kind of a winding one. On a trestle, Western Pacific Railroad, and they did uh, the California Zephyr, 447. Edgewater Steakhouse and Motel, Golly Bridge, West Virginia. I heard that West Virginia postcard sell. I've only had one, and this is it, and it sold. So yeah, my all I can say all of my West Virginia postcards have sold. I will keep my eyes out though for those. This was to Mrs. Martha Patterson and Miss Betty Lou Patterson, possibly mother and daughter. Five forty-seven. Postcard Public Free Library, Lawrence, Iowa. And this uh, hand colored. Sometimes I don't know what to say. It's like, what do you say? It's got stairs. It's got lattice windows. I don't know. Um, there you go. And why did I put free? Probably I looked it up somewhere. Six dollars. Sometimes I do a little research if I'm curious. Here's another one of those performers, Miss Ellen O'Malley. She acted as Queen Elizabeth and Richard III. So here's my zoom in and... This was to Miss Effie, I don't know, something, something, local. And this is a whole postcard. 947. Here is a plane. It is a drone launcher, Hercules. It's kind of a weird looking, look at the nose here, snub nose, weird thing. Here we go, information about Hercules. 447. I just want to say, you know, you see a lot of the planes and trains. Um, here's Alcatraz Island, Docks, blah, blah, blah. Real photo postcard. Most of the people who purchased from me have a male sounding name. Here's a real photo postcard of Alcatraz. I did not see any exactly like this, I don't think, or there weren't many. Um, this sold quickly. Here's the AZO up arrow. So all these arrows are up. So that's a different class of years. 847. And a Christmas card with poem. 347 and if I'd a wishing carpet I'd wish myself to you. From Mother and Fanny. It's a pretty plain postcard. I don't, it's kind of like why would you pick that one over the other ones I have but they're, maybe they like the same. Hotel Claremont, Mont, Oakland, Berkeley Hills, California. Tech car. Oh okay. That's why I was like looking at the condition of this and thinking that's bad condition. Why would I post that? I had a, a whole bunch of these. The Tech Co Command Army Chemical Center return address. So that is my focus on this one. So Miss V. Warnicke, Chemical Corps, Technical Command, Army Chemical Center. She had a lot of people send her postcards to that address, which is like, do you, would you do that today? Maybe she um, traveled a lot. I don't know. So 447. And there is, I think my last one that's not a postcard. Um, this is a high school student photos from 1964, Wolf Point, Montana. There's 18 of them. And this was from an estate sale. And I'm going to talk a little bit in a future video about uh, finding these old photos. And some of them are not really ones that you, that I want to sell. Um, because people are in swimsuits and you know, maybe today you might think, oh, they look risque, but they may be perfectly innocent. Okay. I did take an offer of $7 because I'm thinking there's probably limited scope for who's going to want these. And I mean, you know, there's just pictures of people you don't know. But I'm going to talk a little bit about why I'm not selling certain photos and maybe you want to rethink what's in your photo boxes, old photo boxes too. I haven't fully developed that yet, but it's coming. Another real photo postcard. This is a sunset Gulf of Mexico Everglades palm tree. I mean, it's a palm tree, uh, you know, on the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, here, this is EKC. That's the Kodak. And 447. Another real photo postcard. This sold overnight. 
And somebody offered me like a dollar or two less than my asking price, Crozier College. And I think modern spelling is with an S right here, Crozier, in Onamia, Minnesota. I never heard of the college and I had lived in Minnesota for years. I took the offer because I thought, well, they probably had a um, saved search. So they got an alert to get this and they, they must be collectible. So $12. I mean, I probably spent like less than a dollar on it. Okay, now the next, this one and the next one went out to the same person almost immediately from when I listed them. Um, and I did check price comp prices, and this is about the going price, but um, there were other ones I thought liked this out there, but they liked this one. This is Butte, Montana. This is the open pit mining, and it is posted from Jackson, Wyoming. Jackson, not Jackson Hole, because Jackson is a town. Jackson Hole is the area, just the region. Okay, so Mrs. Frances Ryan... And yeah, so she went to see the open pit mine, 547. And this next one, I didn't really think much of this postcard. Anselmo Mine in Butte, the head frame, the hoist house. I mean, I, I just, didn't, you know, I, we had visited some of these mines. Um, I might have even visited this one. But the postcard is so, it's kind of washed out and picked and grainy. Uh, it's not great. I mean, you can see on the bottom, I won't bring my cursor down there, but it's kind of like almost like it was pr wasn't printed on it bled over into the next printer and was cut off in the wrong spot um, but there weren't any other postcards of this mine so I thought okay I'll just put it up because maybe someone's collecting them um, I think it's really not a great postcard but um, you know it's better than just you know, tossing it or, or making it into a craft project so it sold almost immediately 447 so somebody was pretty happy that I didn't throw it away and then the last one, a few of our guests at Hot Sulphur Springs, Marietta, California, or is it Marietta? Then people on porch. I don't know why I added that, but I did because there are people on the porch. Um, it's just kind of a cool group photo. You can just kind of study all these people with their different dress and maybe they, you know, you might know of some people that were on that porch. And it was 1911 here. Hello, Scotty, how are you? For, to Mrs. E. G. E. J. Cunningham. And here is what the whole one looks like. So you can see what a difference it makes between having this as your th little thumbnail of your postcard and this. As long as you have the full photo, you know, it's, it's, it just gives people a better idea of the content. So that is what I have uh, sold for the month. It did slow down a bit mid-month because, you know, people are on vacation, getting ready for school. After uh, things get back in the swing of things, I expect it to pick up. Um, I still have eight followers and now I have 1,218. I thought it was 1,220. Oh well. Items up and I have uh, made my own categories now. So getting a little more professional. I'm still, you know, hoping to get to the 2,000 mark. Maybe not this month, but sometime. Um, 1,045 are postcards and see the difference here of when I have a th like a square thumbnail to when I have the regular postcard photo of how much of a difference that makes of what you can see like this one this is like half the postcard was this and the other half was a blank like it would have gone down here and uh, so you can if zooming in on this gives people the, and more of an idea of what the postcard is I probably could zoom this one too um, sometimes it's not worth the effort and oh, wait a second this is not right <laughs> one of these pictures is not right so I'm going to have to do a correction on that boy glad I'm going through this with you guys um, somebody buy that thing that's not right so anyway Thank you for coming along with me on this video let me know what your favorite one was or which one you didn't like and um, how you think what did you enjoy this and should I keep doing it um, and so thank you so much and I hope that you have a joyful day goodbye